Okay, so another thing that's come up over the years is people say, well, these cost a lot of money, so you know, how much, uh, how much do I really get from this? So we've done an analysis. It's not final yet, but just to give you an idea of what we found, we took a hypothetical building, a five-story building in, uh, in downtown Portland, connected to the combined sewer system. It's 40,000 square feet, hypothetically. And we used information from, we had a consultant help us, and we used information from many studies, liter a lot of literature review to get uh, some of these answers. So we basically said that the, uh, on this study, we assumed that the, e the conventional roof would cost $10 a square foot uh, for this particular building. And the added cost of the eco roof would be another 230,000, which is based on about $5.75 per square foot for the soil and the plants and the irrigation. So it doesn't include structural? No, it does not include structural. Uh, and then we said, well, then we ran, uh, we've got a report that we're going to have up uh, and ready for uh, sharing with you in the, in the near future. But it, what we found is that in the long term, over 40 years, the private property owner, relative to the different benefits that they would gain, the stormwater management benefit, uh, a, a, a reduction in energy consumption for heating and cooling the building, uh, the, the, the extended life of the membrane, all those benefits, numerous, not all the benefits that we had on the list that's in your packet, but a number of benefits. And this is in the report, so if you're interested, all this is documented in there. But just to give you an idea, based on the things that were used to figure out what the cost was and what the return was, over 40 years, the private property owner would actually make or see a return of $400,000 on their investment. Uh, at the 20-year mark, they would break even. And at the five-year mark, they would be short $100,000 of their investment. So it takes 20 years for the private developer to break even in this particular scenario of the eco-roof installation. So we, I mentioned that to a developer yesterday, and he goes, ooh, that hurts. <laughs> yes. So, it's, we're, so we're not there yet with all the information, but it is good news that you can say that in the long run, it is going to pay off. This is a new, new construction. This is, uh, I can't remember. It's, yeah, I think it's new, right, yeah. Does that include a, a potential reduction in sewer rates? Yes, it, it, uh, and without trying to remember what they all are, I don't have them on this, this presentation. But if you're interested, then uh, actually we'll try and have it next week. And then the public benefit uh, starts immediately. So we, the public, get benefits from this eco-roof right when it goes in. And those benefits are habitat and various other things, uh, reduced impact to the sewer system and other things like that. So we, in five years, we actually see a return of $102,000. Uh, those numbers are coincidentally the same, but they're not based on the same thing, so it's just a coincidence. And then over 40 years, the public benefit is 192,000. And then for those cities, those buildings that the city owns, not only does the city get the, the these, uh, this $294,000 benefit, but we also get the same benefit that the private developer gets in terms of payback on our investment.